Welcome back to Andy Crawford Photography. Um, I thought today we would take a few moments just to show you a very quick and easy way to get rid of the fringes that can appear in, in photographs. A lot of times you'll take a photo and where the, the shadows and the, and the, and the uh, highlights meet, there'll be this little colored sort of halo or fringe uh, that will appear. Um, and, you know, it can be really distracting. Um, and so there's one quick slider in, uh, in Lightroom that allows you to get rid of that. Uh, it will reduce that and, and, you know, often just completely remove it. And so let's look over at uh, Lightroom at a photo I took as part of a uh, contract uh, with the Baton Rouge Area Chamber. All right, so here we are. You look at this sort of street photo, it's an image that shows the Spanish Town District of Baton Rouge. And, um, and if you look, this is the original. If you look right up here, right where this cloud is, is over this house, you can see that there's a fringe. If I, if I zoom in, you can really see it. Um, and you can see that little fringe all around those, those leaves and stuff. Um, and it, it's re it really detracts from the photo. Well, fortunately, Lightroom has exactly what you need. So just come over here to the right, scroll down to Lens Correction. And if it's collapsed, just click right here and it'll open. Always start with Remove Chromatic Aberration Checked. That's a, that's a good start, but as you'll see, it doesn't always get rid of it. If it doesn't, come to manual and then look down and you've got defringe right here. And this slider that says amount. And so all you have to do is slide on over and all of that fringe is gone. And this is before and this is after. Um, it's, it's pretty subtle, but um, it's, it's important. And so let's, uh, let's look at a before and after. I've already created a virtual copy. Um, and so I'm gonna move this slider back. And uh, let's go into full screen mode. You just hit F and it'll show this image in full screen. And here is the original image with the defringe uh, left alone, you know. Uh, and, and so you'll see it's got that funny looking, looking uh, haze or, or fringe up there. If I move to the one that has the defringe on, look at the difference. I mean, it, it's, it's very noticeable. Uh, and it just improves the overall quality of the entire image. But man, it sure gets rid of that, that sort of muddy uh, looking fringe up here. So that's it. Just, uh, just move that fringe button over. And sometimes you don't need to go all the way to the, to the right, but you can play with it until you get exactly what you want. And, uh, and you'll end up with much, much more uh, professional quality uh, photographs. All right. Well, I appreciate you joining me. And, uh, you know, next time we'll look at some more tips and, and uh, uh, tactics on how to uh, take better digital photos. So I will see you next time.